today we'll be seeing a very important and interesting concept in sql server that is we will try to understand how to write a sql construct or sql query to iterate each record from the result set that we obtain through using a select query so select query usually returns a list of records how we can iterate through each element of that particular record set that we'll be seeing today so be with me to with the entire session and the at the end i will let you know i'll tell you in which situation this becomes pretty handy for so let's try to straight away try to code it through so as you can see the select query return the uh, there are a lot of records in this particular table table called train schedule so let's write a sql query or sql code to kind of an iterate through the record set that this select query returns so for that we have to actually define a sql construct called cursor so how we can define a cursor like we can declare a cursor like cursor train and that is of type cursor and we will define the cursor as a local cursor it will be varied only in the local scope and we, we will define it as a read only cursor you are not going to do any modification using this cursor we are just trying to read the records which is select query returns so it's a fast forward therefore there are different variations of this uh, of this particular construct different uh, constructs can be used along with this declare statement that will that we can actually look at that documentation so what all construct we can use so we will define a cursor like this and which will work which will work for this select query so we will just copy paste this particular select statement and we will paste it here so this cursor will work on this statement and what we can do is we can once we define a cursor we will open the cursor so we will open the cursor for read and then we will do fetch, fetch statement using the cursor fetch next from cursor into we will push the contents which the cursor fetches into some local variable for that we have to define or declare some local variables i will define the train name train name as varchar20 uh, which are there in this particular record set and train number i will define which is of type int and station in case of varchar20 and then next is the department type departure type departure type of type data type. so we will fetch the record from using this cursor and we will push the record attributes into this particular local variable so we will push it in the same order that is present in this table before starting with the train number train number will push first and then we will use a train name train name and then we will go for station and then what we will do we will departure type so we have we started fetching from it so we need a while loop to iterate this record set so we will define a while loop and there's a system variable called fetch status so fetch status will uh, give us the what is the result of this fetch instruction that it got executed therefore this particular fetch instruction will update this particular variable system variable and it will let us know whether the fetch is successful or not if it is successful then it will be a non zero value if it is successful it will be a zero value and we will be able to continue the fetching if it is a non zero value then it is a failure it is a global variable this fetch status so if it fetch status is zero until the fetch status is zero we, what we will do we will try to fetch the records one by one for that we, what we will do we will try to copy the statement here so we will recursive we will continuously try to fetch it, fetch the records in a loop and to know that the fetch is successful we will do a print statement we will just print the train name here so once we are done fetching all the records one by one we will close the cursor close cursor train and we will what we will do we will along with that we will deallocate the cursor so let's try to run this thing i will just comment this particular statement and i will run this particular code let's see see as you can see it printed all the all the uh, train name from the record set so this is how you will be able to uh, iterate or iterate through each of the records in this uh, table by defining a cursor over the select statement so this particular thing is pretty useful when we want to work or modify certain attributes in that particular records for example if you want to modify a particular column attribute if you want to modify this train name to something else so what we have to do we have to fetch each record one by one and we have to run the update query so this for in those situation this particular uh, thing will be pretty useful so hope it was useful please do subscribe to this particular channel and do share this video with others 
and if you have something related to if you know something related to this cursor additional thing you want you have in your mind please post it in the comment section so thank you that's it for today